Welcome back, everyone. With the Nevada caucuses less than a week away, the Democratic candidate making the most news is the last to enter the race, former New York Mayor Mike Bloomberg. First, by the shocking report from Drudge that he's considering none other than Hillary Clinton as his running mate, but also for some scandalous statements allegedly from his past, including saying, quote, if women wanted to be appreciated for their brains, they'd go to the library instead of Bloomingdale's. And when he berated an employee over her trouble finding a nanny, saying, it's a effing baby. All it does is eat and poop, although he didn't exactly say that. It doesn't know the difference between you and anyone else. All you need is some black who doesn't even have to speak English to rescue it from a burning building. And degrading female employees with statements such as, I'd like to do that piece of meat. A spokesman for Bloomberg has denied that he ever made any of these statements, but honestly, Katrina, I mean, it just, there's something just obviously really offensive, but just, it's, it's also hilarious that, that there's even a possibility that the party of social justice warriors and woke <laughs> this, that and the everything and, you know, being against money in politics, they're going to nominate someone with this. You know, I'm just waiting on all the actresses in Hollywood to jump on their hashtag MeToo Twitters and, and let them know the deal. Um, this is the issue with the woke culture, and there is a double standard. You know, I haven't seen any of, the, any of these women paraded around on TV in this 24-hour looping cycle, right. as we saw with the allegations right. um, that were made when Pre Donald Trump was running. It's obscene and it's absurd to see how this guy, just because he has money, to yes. your point, this is the party for a generation that has blamed the 1% for every single inequality and injustice in the world. And now they're just quiet as he's about to purchase their nomination. It's just, it is funny. <laughs> I think we should just let Minnie, Mike, and Bernie be on the stage together, yeah. alas, and let them talk because they have completely different ideologies as far as money is concerned. So really, Trump doesn't need to do much. He just needs to put the Democrats together and let them fight it out. But at yeah. the end of the day, I think it's always frustrating when we talk about the, the hearsay or the allegations instead of the policies because there's right. enough to attack on policies. Yes. But it just exposes the double standard. As you mentioned, President Trump, constantly, he hates women, he's a misogynist, that's what yes, he's since day he, one, the, the and he's issue, a racist, everything. Like, yeah, the, look, what's going on right now is the Democratic Party is in a state of total panic. And the reason is Bernie Sanders. And all Democrats know that he would be a huge loser to Trump. So they, the party who keeps talking about democracy and let the voters vote is, well, is trying to do everything they can to steal the nomination. So they're going to turn to a billionaire who's going to spend. By the way, he's already spent more money than the Coke network. You know, they, they keep talking about the Cokes. Than the Cokes have spent in 10 years. And they're just yeah. panicking. And their number one issue has been campaign finance reform. Now they got a guy who wants to buy the election. So the thing, we were just <laughs> chatting about this earlier, Katrina. I mean, that, that, that's exactly right. He's trying to buy the election. And, and I think someone this week said, yeah, you can buy a lot of things with work money, but you can't buy love. And the point about that was, <laughs> which I, I sort of rings true to me, which is that there's no one passionately for Mike Bloomberg apart from Mike Bloomberg. Like, whereas with President Trump, you, as, as we still see it today, his supporters love him. They do anything for him. They sort of sleep out in the cold overnight. I don't see any... Literally, Mike Bloomberg has to pay people to come to his events. Well, you may not be able to buy love. I mean, we'll see. But you can definitely buy delegates. And I think that's what's <laughs> happening today. And, and, you know, Steve just mentioned this. This uh, The Democrat Party is all about this, you know, democracy and the vote. Well, their primaries are delegates. They're not winner-take-all yeah, states in the yeah. Democrat primary. There are in Republican primaries. But we don't see that on the Democrat side. They are fundamentally taken away from what their voters want. They, they have no idea what's going on in the country. Mm -hmm. They're in complete disarray, which is why we have this, this Bernie 1% uh, yes. on the scale here. And it's and that the Republicans tried to do that against Donald Trump, remember? That's exactly right. Ago. Now the Democrats are trying to take it away from and Bernie. And Bernie has the enthusiasm, which is why President Trump said recently, you know, I'd rather have, I'd rather have Bloomberg because Bernie has people who actually support him. Yeah, that's exactly right. And, and I think that the, also the other thing, if you have Bloomberg, I just cannot see, okay, some will, you know, the, ca the other candidates might say, yeah, I'll get behind him. They've all pledged to be loyal. I can't imagine the Bernie cr crew, the, the supporters, going and doing anything.
anything. Well, no, and, and to your point, the the establishment on both sides, but we're really seeing it with the Democrats right now, the establishment doesn't even trust their own voters. Mm -hmm. They don't trust their yeah, own voters right. to make a good decision. Not only do they hate Trump supporters and Trump voters, they hate their own supporters and their own voters as well. And I think that every time that they, they project, we're just seeing a little bit more, the true colors yes. start to come to the surface. And I think the Democrats are going to be pretty mad at their own party because you're going to see a mutiny. And one other thing, I just want to add a very smart point about the policies. We should, don't forget that. We, we I think we, we, you know, we did it recent on the shows last week, uh, Mike Bloomberg, um, he has got a set of policies that are so far to the left, it's just really shocking. In particular, coming from him, he wants to reverse the corporate tax cut that has directly contributed to the historically low unemployment and rising earnings for the lowest page, which we're going to talk about with, with the panel later on in the show. Unbelievable. It's just horrifying to see how left they've all gone. There's no such thing as a moderate left in this race.